You know, okay, I'll talk about Sam Cedar and Tim Black. I'm not going to do a score by score. I might do that for a separate video, right? But um, I thought Sam Cedar made Tim Black look pretty stupid. And I mean that in the nicest possible way. Okay, Tim Black, I'm sure you're a wonderful person, but it doesn't seem like you are on Sam's level, anywhere close to Sam's level. You're not even on Jimmy Dore's level. And I, I think Jimmy Dore has really fallen off and gone off the deep end, man. You don't have any facts to back up what you're saying. You say that you're asking these questions all the time. Can, um, you know, what was Seth Rich's deal? What happened with that? I haven't looked at your channel, so I shouldn't comment too much about that stuff, right? But people have said to me that, Chris, you're like the white Tim Black. And I called into the majority report, and I said, hey, it's the white Tim Black, the Chris Lopako. Dude, whoever thinks I'm like the white Tim Black is fucking stupid. I at least take a look at my positions now and then and – change them depending on the situation. I respond to facts and evidence. And when people say like, I don't know, once again, Tim Black, I haven't looked at his shit, right? But people like Tim Black who say we need to start a third party or you know, Hillary Clinton would be so bad. Yes, I don't like Hillary Clinton. I was not a fan. I actually voted for Jill Stein in Minnesota, so it didn't matter. But if we didn't get traction in that last election, man, when the appetite for a third party was so strong, that, that was our chance. We didn't do it. We didn't strike while the iron was hot. Move the fuck on. Hillary Clinton would not be as bad as Donald Trump if she were in office right now. We would actually be fighting on the left side of the 50-yard line as opposed to in the shadow of our goalposts. So there's a big fucking difference between Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton. And people who don't like the coverage of Russia, people who are getting upset that people cover Russia, on the left are morons because you need to get on the same fucking page sorry sorry to like force you to come over here I, i'm not going to force you to do anything i'm just going to tell you that we all need to get together and start throwing darts at this fucking giant that just crawled up out of the ocean all right we got godzilla coming at us and you're sitting over here bitching about which type of gun we should use grab a fucking gun and start shooting at this bitch say russia say p tapes say every other fucking thing that you can about this guy and make him look bad we are trying to make him look bad for the 2018 election we want him to resign we want to make this job as difficult for him as possible. We want to make sure he's a one-term president. Sound familiar, Republicans? So if we want to actually play this fucking game, we need to get on the same page like Republicans do. We always mock them for goose-stepping. Well, then they goose-step all over us in the fucking election. So Tim Black, when you get on Sam Cedar's show, when you call up and you challenge him, you better have your shit together. Man. The DNC debacle... The fucked up things that the DNC did is done with. Bernie got screwed. That was last year. Get the fuck over it and move on and try to fix things going forward. But you're fighting these fucking battles from last year and you're not focused on the things that we have to do going forward and you're not being helpful. So either shut the fuck up or join the fucking party and throw darts at Donald Trump bitching about Hillary Clinton at this point. If she starts running for president, then we can start bitching about her again. For now, I really don't give a shit what she says. Chelsea Clinton the other day said some bullshit and everyone was like, oh, great job. Because she was going after somebody for fat shaming. That's the type of shit that I don't need from you alt-center people. Annoying. Alt-left, when you're talking about Seth Rich and you're talking about a lot of the same things that Sean Hannity talks about. I'm not with you. I'm with people who actually look at facts, who actually look at what's going on in the world, who actually respond to the situation at hand, and not people who are off fighting hypotheticals. We are where we are, and we need to get together, organize, and fight Donald Trump, and not fight amongst each other, okay? Hillary people, I don't care what you do anymore. Just please don't put Hillary up for president. That's all. Alt-left people, have your conversations, but don't put them on YouTube. How about that? Don't blow this shit up. If you have a big channel, you actually better look into the things that you're saying, like Jimmy Dore, like Tim Black, and not promote these types of conspiracy theories that don't help us at all. Even if it's true, who gives a fuck? 
doesn't help anybody else going forward because people, normal people, are not focused on that type of thing. And it doesn't matter because that shit's over with, man. He's dead. They're not looking into it. And Hillary Clinton's not in charge. So it didn't fucking help. Whatever she was doing, it didn't help. So get over it. Move on. Put it with the JFK stuff. Put it in there with World Trade Center 7 or whatever fucking conspiracy theory that you have about any other topic. Put it back there and shut the fuck up about it. Got it? Good. 